It's time for group therapy again, and our issue this week reads as follows. Help me, Rhonda. I need help with my new boss. I have been here 20 years. He was at his last company, 26 years. He has never worked in a virtual setting, and I feel like it is very difficult for him. We are 100% work from home. He's stuck in the 80s, and he's used to his admin printing everything and putting it on his desk, and he won't ever talk to me either. I have set three meetings on his calendar to talk, and he's blown me off every time. I cannot be successful and keep his calendar if he won't talk to me. I know he's busy, but he won't answer my emails either. He says to just text him. Well, there are some things that are just too much for texting. He's a very nice guy, but he just won't communicate. Help. You brought help. Now, here are some of the responses we have this week. Bridget Cochran from Edmonton, Alberta, shares that she has also dealt with this in the past and acknowledges that it's very difficult as both of you are set in your own ways of doing things. Bridget recommends asking for a meeting again. If he's dead set on not meeting, construct an email. In that email, let him know that you're happy to have him there and that you're excited to work with him. Outline what you can do to make his job easier. Ask him clear, concise questions about his expectations and how he would like to see the office run. Ask him how he likes things done and that remind him that you are there to assist him. Instead of printing things, which you can't do in a virtual environment, email him every morning and afternoon with documents that he needs during the day and the subjects that indicate that. As for his difficulty in navigating virtually, show him ways that'll make his job easier and that you can both stay connected and accomplish tasks and not be in the same room. A lot of advice from Bridget, all great advice. Brian Smith from St. Catharines, Ontario, says that you can manage your boss by communicating and interacting with him in a style that he likes. He prefers text? Text. If you want something done and you can't do it, put him in touch with someone who can. Everyone likes to be managed and manages others in a certain way. The key is to work with them in the way that they want. You aren't going to change them. You need to change the way you are working with him. Dana Hoffman from North Ridgeville, Ohio, says that if you do things his way, the way and the way Brian suggests, it will build his confidence and trust in you. Only then will he open up to your suggestions. You've got to get that trust first. Sheila Brown from Victoria, BC, asked that maybe you can arrange to meet with him in a coffee shop if you don't have an actual office. Taking the time to meet in person could go a long way towards building a relationship. Carol Walsh, Walsh from Hampstead, Maryland, advises you to text him as he requested and mention how items are piling up and that you need to speak with him. Express your need to be in better communication and ask to set up a weekly touch base meeting. And we've got a top 10 tip list on how to do that as well, at least until you're both comfortable for each other. It doesn't have to be every week for the rest of your relationship. Diane Roberts from Lutton, England recommends that when you text him, Text him with a list of the top five priorities and make number five a request for a meeting with him, either in person or virtual. Janine Maffitt from Calgary, Alberta says that if you can't get him to honor any appointments you have together, just pick up the phone and call him one day. You know what his schedule looks like so you can pick a good time to call because perhaps the impromptu meeting works better for him. And Jenny Germain from Bloomington, Minnesota shared that what many said we are the ones that need to adapt. It is our role to ensure a successful partnership. Adapt, it's not easy, but adapt. Now, all of you shared that this is not an easy fix. Many of you have been exactly in the same situation. Not all admin executive combos work out. And if you cannot get them to communicate with you, you are doomed to fail. If you need to reach out, if you need to reach out to past admins to find out what has worked in the past and do as much as you can before you give up, but good luck.